Welcome to the February edition of the SBS TV News Magazine. I'm River Rice from Adams High School. And I'm Abby Cruthers from Riley High School. We'll be starting our show today with a couple news briefs to let you know what's happening in our community. The Croc Center will be hosting a community health fair on Monday, February 26th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. There will be prize drawings and the first 200 people will receive a Croc Center bag. Additionally, one lucky member will win a fitness tracker. Come donate blood, observe healthy recipe demonstrations and samples, and mingle with fellow community members. On Tuesday, February 27th, there is a special event coming up at Notre Dame's X Center Auditorium for K-12 students and their families. It's called Youth Power Indiana. There will be a short film screening and panel discussion with local government leaders about how young people can create real change in helping their community better care for our Earth. Also, auditions for the 2018 Hoosier Star Vocal Competition will be held on March 24th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and again on March 25th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Laporte Little Theater. If you want to show off your singing talents, this will be the place to do it. In wake of the recent shootings in Parkland, Florida, local schools are more cautious than ever. SBS TV's Sam Nowak has the story. With school shootings happening more and more, Riley High School is making sure student safety is its number one priority. We definitely have security. We have an administrative team that should be present in the hallways during the passing periods. Uh, we have cameras on doors and different things like that. But um, you, you just never know if that plan is good enough. Student Resource Officer Sergeant Brian Kendall says a key element of keeping students safe is building relationships with the students. Not, it's not, nothing rare if somebody walk up to me or one of the security guards, hey, so-and-so's got something. I mean, I, I had an arrest today where a kid told the security guard something. He went and looked into it. Kid's now in JJC for possession of marijuana. I mean, so we're told things. Um, there, there's, there, there's a couple of gun incidents last year, right, where, where security was told that, hey, this kid has a gun. We went and got it. Everything's good. Definitely having more um, lockdown procedures, more lockout procedures. Um, maybe even going as far as leaving the site and going to our reunification site so that people are prepared. The problem with drills, and you see them with fire drills, it's just a drill, they walk slow, it's not important, but if there's a real activity, now the speed has changed, people get trampled, people get tripped. In South Bend, I'm Sam Nowak. Scholarships. You've probably heard that word from your parents, teachers, and counselors. But did you actually listen? Probably not. Scholarships are an easy way to pay for college, and all you have to do is apply for them. So, it's not difficult at all to apply for scholarships. Essentially, you just fill out an application, and at the most, you have to write an essay. These papers are typically one page about yourself, what you've done academically, or in extracurriculars. What's nice about the writing portion is that you can actually use the same exact essay for multiple scholarships, so it's not like you have to keep writing a paper over and over again. So that's something to keep in mind. Scholarships. It's free money, and you'll never have to pay it back. There are big changes happening across South Bend schools in the upcoming year. We'll throw it to Abby reporting from Marshall. That's me. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> I am standing outside Marshall Intermediate Center, a school that will be closed in the following school year. This is due to the Focus 2018 plan that was unanimously voted into effect recently by the school board. Let's get out of the cold and learn a little bit more. My take on it is we need to do whatever it takes to educate students in South Bend schools, whether that's through Focus 2018, um, previous plans that have been in place, um, but whatever we need to do as a district to make sure that we are educating students and providing them with an environment in which they can learn, then whatever the plan is, let's just do it. So, what exactly does this plan mean for South Bend schools? Focus 2018 proposes the closing or repurposing of buildings like Marshall, Purley, Brown, Green, and Clay Intermediate. The plan will also reassign students to schools located closer to their homes. The two main reasons that uh, I'm understanding the plan, one, we have our enrollment has been decreasing over the years, and so that is decreasing the funding in which we are given as a district to provide an education to students. So because we're lacking that money, we have to condense. And the other reason is just about law. 
and you have to follow the laws and if you're not following them you have to put things in place to to make sure you're in compliance so that's how i understand the plan start times will also be affected with changes causing the school day to start and end at a later time it will definitely be significant impact for parents and i mean child care providers i'm looking forward to it honestly on my first hour <laughs> kids are always asleep or half asleep so i think it'll be a good change the plan may be controversial, but SBCSC teachers and administrators are hopeful for the future. So in June, my contract ends. I then have to reapply to be a principal in the district, and I have to hope that I get rehired. So right now, February 13th, I don't know if I'm coming back to South Bend Schools, but I would love to be back here. This is my passion right here in this district. I don't want to be anywhere else. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans. Students and staff in Riley High School share why Black History Month is important to them. It's very important to me because it's the only way that we have to acknowledge our history in order to even relate it back to our own children. I feel like it's really important because a lot of important black people don't get celebrated. They need to get celebrated more and more because they actually did important things in life and they need to be acknowledged for that. It is important to me and I think it's important because I think it keeps the younger people that's coming up uh, uh, aware of uh, black history. Although it is important to them, some feel as if it doesn't get enough recognition. There's one thing that I, I wish that we celebrated uh, black hist history year round. I feel like black people as a race should be acknowledged and we're not, I feel like we're underappreciated. This should be celebrated every month. It shouldn't just be a month where we just have black history. Like it should be every month. Cause you know when we make history every day, we shouldn't just designate it to just one month. We make history every day. They also explain which black icons they look up to and why. I look up to Malcolm X because he believed that Stuff needed to be done by any means necessary. I'm going to have to say Barack Obama because it was my, in my lifetime was the first time I saw a black man become president. President Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that I never thought I'd see in my lifetime, but uh, I just think it's a great thing and uh, it lets our young people know that they can be anything that they want to be. Muhammad Ali, I uh, know him personally, I met him, I uh, studied him, I watched him, and he was a man of his convictions, and uh, you don't find that too often. Black History Month will continue to inspire young African Americans to follow their dreams. I'm Indiga Bradford and this is SBS TV. As the cold winter season continues to drag on, most of us choose not to spend as much time outside in the freezing temperatures. But several students from John Adams High School did just that. Last Sunday, members of the John Adams Volunteer Organization, or JAVA, teamed up with South Bend St. Margaret's House in the annual Winter Walk. The Winter Walk is a fundraising event for St. Margaret's House, which helps thousands of women and children who are in need of financial support. Each year, volunteer groups and individuals walk a mile in downtown South Bend to commemorate what many women and children go through in order to reach St. Margaret's House for much-needed services. This annual event is especially important to the Java program at Adams. The Winter Walk is one of our bigger events that we um, help to put on, and there's a lot of like pushing that goes for it. We wear fanny packs um, at school to help raise money for it, and we try to like make it one of our biggest priorities. Uh, it has become uh, a mission um, each year to just get as many students involved. Um, for them just to see that there is a need that exists um, and that they can play a part, that they can contribute and um, they have something to give. And finally, we are introducing a new segment here on the show called Around SBCSC in 60 Seconds. Each month we will send out one of our reporters for a short story from every South Bend High School. Here's Abby Myers with the story. 
Welcome to Around SBCSC in 60 Seconds. Let's get started. Starting with Clay High School, the Clay Drama Department will be producing their annual winter play on February 23rd and 24th. This year, the group will be performing a comedy called Noises Off. John Adams High School will yet again send several mock trial teams to the state competition this year. Six Adams teams qualified for the regional competition held on February 10th. Riley High School has been awarded a grant by WNDU and Martin Supermarkets for their efforts and outreach with the homeless in our community. Riley's newly established Wildcat Cares organization received $1,000 as part of WNDU's One School at a Time campaign. Wildcat Cares plans to use the money to create care packages and provide resources to students in need. All graduating Washington High School seniors will have the chance to win a car at the end of the school year. Applications are due March 15th and the winner will be awarded a 2007 Chrysler 300 in May. To qualify, students must have at least a 2.0 GPA, earn at least 36 credits, have no suspensions, and participate in Project XL at Washington High School. The giveaway is sponsored by Rick's Auto Shop of South Bend. That's all for this edition of Around SBCSC in 60 Seconds. I'm Abby Myers reporting for SBS TV. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on SBS TV Sports and Hip Hop. I'm Demondo Loach. And I'm Tyler Beatty. With postseason play in high school basketball quickly approaching, we decided to take an in-depth look at the undefeated Riley Boys basketball team and what their mindset is going in to playoffs. My name is Ty Reed. I play shooting guard and small forward and I'm a senior. Uh, right now, as we got a game this Friday, so we really just focusing on winning this game this Friday and uh, we trying to work on getting the postseason. And as when postseason arrives, we just want to take it game by game and don't uh, under, underestimate our opponents. It's a rivalry, so it's going to be a tough game like it was the first game we played them later on in the season. But uh, in the beginning of the season, we was trying to figure out each other, trying to see how everybody play, get the feel of our new coaches. But now as we've been rolling, I feel like that as we play this team this Friday, it's going to be a, a bigger difference than it was the first game because everybody know how everybody play. So it's going to be a great game, but we coming out with a win. Knowing we're the best team right now, to the calls go both ways, really. Some games we get calls at home, some games we don't. So we work on and practice all the little baby fouls that we try to get and that we want to practice. Our coach don't call them because he wants us to get stronger. He wants us to be better in the game. We like all the support that we get. We like all the uh, fans because they, they get us into the game. They get us hyped. They get us going. And I guess if we didn't have the fans, I mean, it'd be just the gym would be dead. And all you hear is the sound of the ball and just us talking. So with all the fans, we like all the support that we get, especially with our student section. We like that we had a student section and all the selected few that come out every game and support us. We really appreciate everything they do for us. Well, at the end of my senior year, we've been working on it since I started here my freshman year, and it's to go down state and come back with a ring on our finger. We want to go down there and win. It's time for us to make a statement because everybody thinks that the indie teams are better than us, so it's time for us to show that down here we're trying to go down state and show what we got to do and win on that Pacers court and come back home with a ring on our finger this year. Yes, sir. And this has been the February edition of the SBS TV News Magazine. I'm Abby Cruthers. And I'm River Rice. And we'll see you back here next month. Have a great day.